Hi, welcome to today's talk on work and mechanical energy. What are we learning? We will learn about the work energy theorem. We'll relate work and kinetic energy, work and gravitational potential energy. So when we put a net force on a mass, we increase its velocity. Uh, net force, if you remember from Newton's second law, that we add a net force to a mass, we get acceleration. So in this case, we're going to add a net force to a mass over a displacement here. We'll start out with a uh, initial velocity. We'll wind up with an increased final velocity. We'll use this V for that. Now we learned about kinetic energy last time. So if we increase the velocity here, the mass will stay the same, we're going to get more kinetic energy. So by doing work, we have increased the kinetic energy. This one half mass times velocity squared is our final kinetic energy. This is the kinetic energy we started with back here when we had an initial velocity here. So by subtracting these two, we get the change in kinetic energy. So the work we do on this object changes the kinetic energy. So it's the final kinetic energy minus the initial. Here we'll define the work energy theorem as the network that gets done on an object is the change in its kinetic energy. Another way to look at that is, let's say if we have a hammer, the hammer has the ability to do work force times distance on the nail. We can actually look at it also as the nail is doing work on the hammer, taking away its kinetic energy. So let's try an example. Let's say we have a 0.03 kilogram bullet fired horizontally from a rifle, giving it a muzzle velocity, or the velocity when it first comes out there, of 300 meters per second. The rifle barrel has a length of 75 centimeters. What's the kinetic energy of the bullet as it exits the muzzle of the rifle? We started out with a bullet that had zero kinetic energy, over this distance, or this displacement here, it was given a force, and that is the hot gases are doing work on that projectile, and it has, at the end, kinetic energy. So what are we asked to do first? We need to find the kinetic energy of this bullet. Well, kinetic energy is one-half mass times velocity squared. Again, here's our basic problem-solving format. We will write down our knowns. We know the mass. We know the velocity. We're trying to find the kinetic energy. We have a sketch here. It's kind of like a free body diagram, except we're not dealing with any forces here. So we just have the mass and the velocity. We write down the equation that relates our knowns and our unknowns. Here it's kinetic energy equals one half mass times velocity squared. Um, we then solve this for the unknown. It's already done for us. So life's good. All we have to do is plug and chug. The mass is replaced here. Velocity replaced here. We're going to make sure not to forget to square the velocity, and we get uh, 1.35 kilojoules. It's 1,350 joules. Now, what is the work done on the bullet by the expanding gas as it travels the length of the barrel? Now, in this case, the work done was force times distance or displacement, but we don't need that because we know the change in kinetic energy. It went from zero kinetic energy to 1.35 kilojoules of kinetic energy. So that is the work done. Using energy a lot of times will make a problem solving a lot easier. Now let's relate work and gravitational potential energy. So this person, 
here is going to do some work on the box and we're going to call this the box and the earth system because we it is in a gravitational field and we're going to get a lot more into this a little bit later so he's going to do some work by lifting this box with a force equal to its weight up some delta y now what he's going to do is be doing some positive work here on the um, box or system giving it potential energy so he's going to be doing work on this system the system being the box and the earth it is an external force to the system so we're going to see that by doing work on a system we've added potential energy the work done on a system increases the mechanical energy of the system. Let's look at what we know so far. The work done on an object is going to change its kinetic energy. The work energy theorem says that the network is going to equal the change in the kinetic energy or delta Ke or final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. The work done on a system is going to change the total mechanical energy of that system. The work done within an isolate system, there you're just going to be transferring energy. And that's what we'll look at next, the conservation of energy, where we get energy going between two different types of energy. All right, thanks for listening and watching. Complete your Cornell notes, rewind and review as necessary.